Hello and welcome to Lloyd South Lakes BMW. Today we have this 430i M Sport Coupe, finishing San Remo Green Metallic. This is a brand new unregistered vehicle. It's a beautiful line to this new generation 4 series, the G22. So you're following off the very successful G23 series. There's a fabulous option selected for this particular car, which I'll run through with you now. From the front, we've got the shadow line finished to some of the pieces. So that means the front kidney grille, that new shaped kidney grille for this car, has got a full black ring around it rather than the chrome ring. Some nice little details on that sort of honeycomb centre. A bit of contrasting colour there. That feeds around as well to the shadow line finish to the lights. So it's new black inlay to the lights. Previously on BMW, that's been like a silvery reflective finish. But that new black finish really ties in the front of the vehicle. It works very well against the San Marino paint finish as well. Moving around, we've got the 19 inch M double spoke alloy wheels with a bicolor finish. So it's lovely diamond cut to them. It really makes the wheels pop and stand out and emphasizes the M spot blue brake calipers there. Then this matte black inlay. Moving around, we've got the rear sun protection glass. That's the rear tinted windows. Also, it adds element of privacy for the rear of the vehicle. But there's a UV element there as well. So it does help keep the cabin a bit cooler in the hot days, as well as protecting rear passengers from some of the harmful UV rays. Into the poot, we also have a power tailgate in this vehicle. That can be operated by the keys I've just done. Also the button underneath the Randall badge and a button by the driver's door. Into the boot, very deep boot, a bit like the 3 Series Saloon. Nice split folding seats there, that 40-20-40 split. And some very useful handles there on the left and right side, so you can drop those seats down. Plenty of space with some nice little compartments on the right and the left hand side, keeping items in. It's got the first aid kit down there at the moment on the right. This vehicle also benefits from the M differentials, so that's the rear differential. It really does help getting that power from the 30i engine out down the rear wheels. And it really does help exiting speed and just control of the vehicle. Moving into the car, we've got comfort access. So that's the system as long as the keys on your person, very easy to get in and out of the car. This latest generation, you don't actually need to touch the handle like the previous car, you can still do that. But as you approach the car from three meters away, the car will recognize you've got the key on you. Put the welcome lights on so you can see the car as you approach it at night. And then as you get to about a meter away, the car will actually fully unlock and you can nice and easy get into the car without having to actually touch the door handle and unlock it like I've just done, without having to get the key out of your pocket or your bag. So it's very easy to get in and out of the vehicle. With the lovely oyster Vanaska leather, which really contrasts against the San Marino green fantastically well. In the back there, we've got the true four seater, so the two. I think being we don't like two decent seats rather than trying to squeeze a third seat in the middle. Uh, you can see on that seat belt there, we've got the M stitching across that seat belt there as well. And that's on all four seat belts, some lovely detail. This being the optional electric memory seats, as you lift the seat out of the way, it literally moves out of the way, and then you fold it back and you move back into your driving position as well. Nice little touch there. You can see on the speaker grill here, you've got the memory functionality for the seats, that two-stage memory functionality. Moving up, this car's also got the Harman Kardon multi-speaker hi-fi system. As I mentioned, the electric memory seats, all controlled by the controls here. We've also got the lumbar option as well, the side bolster is standard, and then the adjustment there for the seats themselves. And obviously these are the beautiful M Sport seats, lots of lovely detail. You can see, see some of that great contrast stitching running through them as well. I'll throw out the cabin. Right, stepping into the car. We've also got the latest BMW Live Copper Professional, the full digital display here, very configurable. Again, it's set up to give the information that you want to see. And this car also benefits from the head-up display as well. Get 
and focus. That's where we've got the optional information prediction on the windscreen. At the moment we've got the speed on the right there and we have the speed limit display as well on the left. Speed limit is where it will give you information of the current road speed limits either via the sat nav or camera behind the rear view mirror. And basically it's all projected onto the windscreen. The car will then give you various different bits of information as and when it thinks it needs to. So turn by turn information, incoming call alert, changing things like the media information or projecting the windscreen so you're not distracted by different bits of information from the car. The latest OS 7 operating system. So we've got these different pages of information we can basically set up to display the information that you want to see at times you want to see it. We've got a nice slick system. It's very fully customizable as well. And lots of different ways. Like I said, I'm using the touch screen at the moment to click on, go into different options. We've also got the full voice activation, the letters A BMW. Tried and tested BMW iDrive Dell, and this car also has a gesture control as an option. Full juice and climate control, heated from the seats, that's all standard. Tucked away down here, we've got the wireless charging pad as well with enhanced Bluetooth, so better connectivity for your mobile device to the vehicle. Just a USB fault and 12 volt socket there next to the cup holders. As I mentioned before, I've got the interesting tried and tested iDrive dial there. We've got the fantastic ZF8 speed gearbox, with full manual mode as well, so you can use the gear selector or the paddles behind the steering wheel to select your gears if you so wish. Castle benefits from the adaptive button as well, the adaptive mode. So that's not only things like suspension, but that's all adapted. Also, sorry, will also adapt the steering as well as throttle response based on how you're driving the car. Moving back up, we've got the Park Assistant Professional in this vehicle. So that's where you can see on the right hand side, we've got the full surround view in automatic mode, like that. And that will basically zoom around different parts of the car based on what you need to see, whatever's closest, whether it's a corner, side. We've got this fantastic 3D view as well. You can use the buttons or gesture control to zoom around different points of the vehicle. That's also linked with the Hey uh, My BMW app, so you can see this exact view from you uh, remotely on your for, for your car through the My BMW app. Moving across the steering wheels, the vehicle also has the heated steering wheels an option. Lovely little feature in the winter that. And we've also got the full driving assistant professional here on the left hand side. So on top of the standard cruise control, speed limit control, we've got full adaptive cruise control, as well as lane keep assistance as well. There's so a lot of assistance there, uh, as well as blind spot detection in the wind mirrors. The car can also stop you from run, wandering off lane, wandering into different lanes if there's a car when you have blind spot. So not only a visual guide, there can be some steering intervention as well to help assist you there. Right hand side, we've got then the audio controls volume controls and different bits and bobs like that. So some lovely options on this. 430i M4 Group Air, do love this new San Marino Green. Beautiful colour for this car. As I mentioned, lots of options, over £8,000 worth of options in this car, so a very well spec vehicle. And if you do need any more information, please do get in contact. One of our sales executives will be more than happy to help.